Hello everyone, welcome to Chemazon Complete Chemistry. In today's video, we are going to solve question 14 of the GATE 2022 chemistry paper that is based on Edmund degradation. We will see what is Edmund degradation. A tripeptide, what is the meaning of tripeptide? It is a peptide chain containing three amino acids. It reacts with PHNCS, what is this? Phenyl isothiocyanate. Okay, followed by heating with dilute HCl. First, we get this cyclic compound M and a dipeptide. Then the dipeptide again undergoes the same reaction with phenyl isothiocyanate or PHNCS and heating with dilute HCl to form another cyclic compound N and a acyclic compound that is open chain structure O. We have to find out the correct sequence from N to C terminus. Okay, so now let us first understand what is N terminal and what is C terminal. So, you know the peptide bond, it is always CONH. That is the amide linkage is nothing but called as a peptide bond. Okay, so this first carbonyl group is of the first amino acid. So, here there will be an amine group. And if you see on the extreme right, you will find carboxylic acid. Because this NH or is the amine group of the second amino acid. Okay, so the other group left is the acid group. So here you can see it is a nitrogen atom, so that is why this is called as a N terminus. Okay, and extreme right is called as a C terminus. Okay, this is the basic structure of any peptide structure. Now, what is the purpose of the admin degradation or what is the, uh, why do we do admin degradation is to find out, to find out the amino acid present at the end terminus, to find out the amino acid present at the end terminus. Okay, so what happens is, this PHNCS that is phenyl isothiocyanate, it reacts with the first amino acid first that is A1. Okay, it will react with A1 and then we got this cyclic fragment M. Then we got the cyclic fragment M and the dipeptide. What is, will be the dipeptide? A2, A3. Now this A2 amino acid might, must also have a N terminus. So PHNCS is already present in the reaction mixture. So it will react with this A2 amino acid as well, that is a second amino acid and again form a cyclic product that is N. And what is remaining is the A3, that is the acyclic fragment. Acyclic fragment. Okay, so now let us see the general reaction. So this is the general uh, structure of the peptide. This is the N terminus. Nitrogen has a lone pair that will attack the electron deficient carbon atom and this will open up and then there will be intramolecular cyclization and the final product we get is this. In this, what is R group? R group is the side chain of the amino acid. Side chain of the amino acid. Okay, so we have to identify the side chain and then accordingly identify the amino acid. So, the M fragment will be the amino acid number 1. So, if you compare this product and this product, if you compare all the three products, let's say M, N and O, you can see at least in M, N, N, what is the difference? It is the difference is of this group. Here there are two hydrogens. Here there is one hydrogen and this other group. And here there is this group. This is the R group. Okay, so by... Even if you don't know the reaction, by just looking at the difference in the structure, you can identify what is going to be the amino acid. So here if you see the side chain is H. Hydrogen is a side chain in which amino acid? Glycine. Okay, so what is the first? What is the first amino acid? Glycine or GYLY. Then what is the second amino acid? This is the side chain of the second amino acid. We know if it is a methyl group, we call it as alanine okay but if i remove one hydrogen and i add phenyl group then this is called as what this is called as phenyl alanine okay the, so the second amino acid is phenyl alanine 
and this r group you can see this is what this is the group for this is a group for valine okay isopropyl group is present in which amino acid in valine okay the three letter word is val okay so this is the amino acid correct amino acid sequence for the tripeptide okay so what is the correct option glycine phenylalanine and valine that is the correct answer is going to be option a okay so in this question this was also for a one mark so again you don't have time for doing the exact reaction but you, at least you can compare if you have read this topic you can compare and find out the side chain here it was h here it was ch2 ph that is phenylalanine group and this was isopropyl group for the valine i hope you have understood the reaction mechanism thank you